So how does the hoax lie system keep alive the lies of generations past? One of the ways that they do that is to continually put it in your face. Now I did extensive video about a half an hour length on the so-called bombing of Cologne in World War II. And in that video I tried to focus in on the whole idea and the concept of the fact that the entire city is in rubbles. But yet, the Cathedral of Cologne is just fine. You can almost see it in this photograph that all this is just fake. So the bombing of Cologne in World War II, whereby supposedly 20,000 civilians died and 34,711 tons of bombs were dropped by the RAF. So how do you keep this alive as far as it being a hoax? Well, what you do is you have news stories that pop up occasionally to remind you that this hoax was genuine. Thousands evacuated in Cologne as World War II bomb is diffused. Around 20,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in Cologne as experts diffused a... Now think about it. They're scaring the daylights out of these old people in the senior homes. They're scaring the daylights out of the children in schools. They're scaring the daylights out of common ordinary folk. Second World War bomb. The device was found during construction work near the Rhine River. It was apparently the largest evacuation of its kind in the city since 1945. So you've got to get everybody out of the city. It's a way of mind control. A way of fear mongering. Evacuation. Watch out. When they say evacuation, especially when they say mandatory evacuation. These poor folks are scared at nothing because there was nothing to be afraid of. Around 20,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in Cologne as experts defused a Second World War bomb. The device was found during construction work near the Rhine River. It was apparently the largest evacuation of its kind in the city since 1945. So let's Let's get it out and get people all worked up again. Now here's just the general idea of diffusing bombs 70 years after the conflict. The Germany is ridden with these bombs. Or is Germany ridden with fakers and liars? Hardly a week goes by in Germany without a bomb being found. The country was pummeled by 1.5 million tons of bombs during the war. German officials estimate that 15% of those bombs failed to explode and could be buried up to six meters deep. In Berlin alone, 56 tons of ordnance were retrieved last year, and according to police explosions expert Detlef Jab, there is no end in sight. Of course, more were found earlier. There was a lot lying around at the end of the war. That was all cleared, but there is still no end in sight. It is gradually becoming fewer and fewer, but nobody can say when it will be over. Nobody can say when it's be over. So here's print coverage of it. It's January 21st, 2020. Explosive experts diffused an unexploded American bomb in Cologne. 
1,000 pound bomb. Now think about it. Think about it. If you're in a plane and you're dropping 1,000 pounds, what would that do to the plane, the aerodynamics? Cologne's biggest evacuation. Woo. Some 20,000 people in the German city of Cologne have been forced to leave their homes. That's interesting because they said during World War II, 20,000 people were killed. That's interesting. Schools and kindergartners as well, as well as the zoo, remain closed post-war evacuation. See, they're invoking war because war never stops. It's perpetual war anywhere. About 1,100 residents of a retirement disability center scaring the daylights out of these people. Allied bombers targeted Cologne. The deactivation of the one-ton device was found near Mülheim Bridge crossing the Rhine. I guess it missed the bridge. City officials said in a statement that the river would be closed. Bomb found on Friday. Hundreds of tons of unexploded ordnances are discovered in Germany every year. Well, anyhow, that's how they keep it alive, with noose stories. Remember, it wraps a noose around your neck so you can't breathe or think. If you want to see more on this, look up my video on the bombing of Cologne, Germany. Dave J. said so. War Backwards is Raw, or Plato's Cave Visited. You can go to any one of those three channels and find the most extensive video. It's about 30 minutes long. I'd like to thank you for watching. End of video.